Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the main loop of a libgdx game. I'm going to uh, discuss three methods, the create, the render and the resize method. If you haven't set up your uh, libgdx environment yet, please um, watch my previous video. I will show you how to do that. So first, the create method. Uh, the create method is executed once and uh, that's the start of your game. Uh, when you open up your game, the create method is being executed. So, um, yeah, let's show you. Um, put down there to print. Uh, and make it print. Um, yeah, the create method is being executed once. So when you run your game now, uh, it should say in the console uh, block, um, yeah, the same sentence. Uh, yeah, that's create method, executed once at the start of your game. Uh, this poses when your application is closed, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about render method. Uh, the render method is the core of your game, it's executed as often as possible, so we put that over uh, there. Um, yeah, the render method quite, yeah, it's everything. Um, it handles user input and yeah, it shows, th shows things on the screen. So, um, run it and then down the console block. The render method keeps executing. So, yeah, that gives you quite an idea how the run method works. Um, yeah, and then we go into the resize method. And resize method is being executed when the screen size change. So, um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll run it, and we see down there when I change the screen size, um, the re resize method will run. Uh, yeah, that's the main loop of the GDX game. That's quite it.